Hello? Oh, there's a... The bird says hello too. And wants to know if you subscribed. Um, thank you for checking in, watching. I appreciate it. I see, I see I'm, getting, I'm getting more and more support. I'm glad that it, it's helping you. Because I know it would help me. It would help me. Even though I'm a little bit crazy or half crazy, something like that. Um, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm glad it helps you because I was in such a... I was in such a hole. I was in such a hole. And I'm talking to a lot of you guys that are in holes. It, and I just I can easily put myself in you guys' um, position. Um, and I still, even though I'm not on dialysis... And I am way better, even though I'm, I'm still um, hesitant. Um, I, I I got people telling me to, you know, if today I'm free, then be free. If tomorrow I'm not, don't worry about tomorrow. It's hard for me because, you know, the kidney isn't foolproof. You know, it, something can happen any moment. Um, so I appreciate that. Okay, so I was working out and... Um, I was focused on my workout, but I wasn't focused on the music. And anybody who knows me knows I love my music. And um, so what happened, I woke up even this morning, there were some questions that was asked to me, and it was on my mind even as I woke up before I got here. And one of the questions was, was there anything um, before all of this dialysis and all that tr transplant, anything before this that um, was what I thought was good for me then, but turns out not good for me now. And yes, I was trying to think to come up with a different answer, but the moment you asked me, um, the first thing I thought about was creatine. Creatine. Creatine was, creatine at the time was my best friend. And I did not take it all the time. I never take anything consistently. I always give some type of break. At that time, I might have taken it once a week, twice a week, could be three times. And there's sometimes I would go a couple of weeks without creatine. But I tell you what, I haven't taken it since uh, 2017, probably May of 2017. I was in the best shape of my life. Best shape. I miss that guy sometimes. I miss that guy. He was ready to lift buildings. But it turns out the reason why it's bad is because it was raising my creatinine level. Creatine, creatinine, it's the kidney function. Um, my level was, it was bringing the level up high. By the time I got to the hospital, it was pretty high. Uh, high, I forgot at that time, 2017. It was pretty damn high. But that was as time, I don't know what it was at the time I was taking a creatine. So, yeah, but I miss it because I mean, there was bigger guys. There was guys shh, can slam me in the mud. But they were coming up to me and was like, hey, man, you know, when are you going to be here again? I said, I'll be here tomorrow. Hey, what you working on? Back. Hey, let me do back with you, man. See what you're doing. Like, how you get your back so cut. And that's crazy. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this guy like, are you kidding? And they sure would show up and was doing what I was doing. Man, I missed those times. Those, those were some good times. I was pretty focused because I was going to compete. They talked me into competing, and I never competed. Um, so, creatine. Okay, next question is, um, what makes me happy? And also, what is my progress? Like, what is my levels and my grading of how I'm doing with my anxiety or dealing with anger and all that. So again, that's another question that I was thinking about while I was working out. Um, what makes me happy? Cause this is just two questions. What makes me happy? Well, a lot of stuff makes me happy. Um, but lately what has made me happy, um, some comments, that I have gotten, I mean, you guys don't know the normal people, you normal people, you really don't know the effects of medicine and going through this. And I hear it 
I was in a group. I'm banned from the group. So I, I didn't like where I was anyways. Uh, there's a social media. These people convinced me to get on social media to be in this group. It was a, uh, shoot, it was a dialysis group. What was the name of it? Damn. Anyways, they didn't ban me, but I, there's a movement going on right now and I might have instigated it. Um, and they banned me or no, they, they, they stopped me from saying some comments, certain comments and, and I can't post, um, I can't post certain things. So I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. Um, so, but it's comments. What makes me happy? Oh, and there's a dude named Sean. Finally, man, I can say your name. There's this dude named Sean. So it's certain comments, which is odd because <laughs> I can't even say what I want to say. Um, but it, you know, there was a situation with me and this dude said, well, look, dude, he was like, I'm your brother now. Like, all right. And I'm like, all right. And then like a few weeks or a week, something like that later, he was like, how's my favorite brother doing? I'm like, Hey man, do you have any other brothers? He was like, no, <laughs> but yeah. And man, he, like I got let's just say five. I got five people that call me like when they're, or text me when they're on or voice message me, uh, when they're, uh, at the dialysis center, see the normal people, they can't comprehend that, but I get it, man. I get it. How you feel alone. What am I doing again? Like with the guy named shine, he's always asking me, when am I getting out of here? I hope I can say this. Like he, he's only been on it for six months and he's got I'll show you when I'm walking. I'll show you guys when I'm walking. You guys going to walk with me? And he um, he has had a catheter in his chest 17 times. And he also has a fistula in his arm. And like, he doesn't, you don't, you don't feel anybody who is right there for you. Right there for you. And, and he has confirmed that uh, where um, just like me, you know, you just want to hide under the covers. You don't want to go anywhere. So what makes me happy? Like he'll message me. He He's like, hey, dude. I want, he, and also, he has a hard time with walking. He's like, hey, dude, I just went outside. I said, Where, where'd you walk to? He said, to the porch. Now, normally that's funny and it's half funny, but that's pretty damn good. That's better than staying inside. So it's that stuff that makes me happy because I don't think that there was anyone who fully understands, especially now especially now, now that I am so much better, even though there's some problems I'm and I look so much better, people are like right back to like, forget, I was going to say something else, forget all the stuff you went through. You're, you're here now. So move forward. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. And when I have people calling me saying, Hey, I walked to the corner. Is that okay? I sometimes feel like crying, the crying of happiness. Like, I'm glad you're not stopping them because I, I was ready to stop. I have somebody who can, well, I had somebody who can confirm that I was ready to stop. I was ready to die. So that makes me happy. I, I speak the truth. I don't care. I speak the truth. And some people have a hard time. And that's the same thing with like comments I get. I let those few comments get the best of me in my day when there's hundred people telling me positive things about me why don't I grab onto that positive thing why do I grab onto the few negative things so I keep asking myself that every day uh, that helps me and then also I'm watching a mo I'm watching a movie one of my favorite guys of all time James Bond I'm watching James Bond and a good friend of mine was saying how, how do you think it is watching James Bond? Even though, of course, it's it's acting and all. But there are people like him, like yourself, have I seen? And he mentioned an example. I can't tell you guys. There was a, a dangerous guy who came, came around us. Dangerous guy. And I handled him. Why is it that there's people, he also witnessed, why is it that there's people who call for my help and... It's, it's, you shouldn't be messing with this situation, but I mess with the situation. I, I'm very confident that we'll get out of it. I will help you. 
will get out of it. And I'm so confident, but how come I can't do that with myself? So I was thinking of that. I've been watching James Bond. And yeah, it's an entertaining movie, but you don't realize how much trouble he's in every five minutes. And he's still... So I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying watching that. So that's kind of helping me. Can I say one more thing about Sean? So this dude called me. I said, what's up, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm about to get out of here. I said, oh, yeah? Yeah. There was... I went through the same stuff where he asked for a certain level or something. I forgot what it was. He asked for a certain level. They said, no. When I first got there, they said, you are the boss. And now, and then once I signed the papers, I wasn't the boss. So I said, so what are you going to do? He's like, I told him to get out here. He's got to sign this emergency form to leave. He's asking to leave emergency form recommending. I, I've done that plenty of times. And so that's what he did. And he was like, yeah. And I also went on a machine. I turned down the number that I asked him to turn down. I don't know if he's truly like that, but I did the same stuff and that makes me happy. <laughs> Hold me like a river Jordan and I wouldn't say that the you are my friend. Somebody asked me, somebody asked me, <laughs> um, so no, didn't ask me, said, you must be a catfish. <laughs> I'm like, I love catfish. What does that mean? You must be a catfish. Yeah, I would love some catfish right now. What does that mean? I got another song. You're out of touch. I'm out of touch. But I'm out of my head when you're not around. What is catfish? What does that mean? I got to go home and find out what that means. Catfish. Okay, uh, next question. How is my, um, how is my, uh, where my catheter was to access, which is right here. How is it? Yeah, much better. Much better. Still, you know, because it took, the last time it took three hours to get that thing out, I never felt so much pain. You guys are worried about my transplant. That was the worst pain, man. It was a cool brother, man, doctor. Man, I forgot his name. Cool dude. And uh, we, he, man, I'm looking at that. Did I tell you that story? I can't remember if I said that story. I had to have my Michael Jackson going. And uh, he's sitting there dancing to Michael Jackson while he's operating on me. <laughs> yeah, but so I still feel, sorry if you can't see me. You're taking a walk with me, all right? Um, so I still feel like, I still feel a little, still a little bit of numbness there, but it's much better, especially all the tape I had to put on there. And just it needed some breathing room and everything and it was just jacking it up but yeah so as you see it's a lot better okay so uh, I, I remember the last question last question is is there um, anything in the past as far as my dialysis or transplant is there anything that um, gets me emotional yes there's a few of them uh, but the one biggest one is the video I haven't done yet as far as the last dialysis center that I was at. I'm getting close to doing it. It's very hard because they're the ones who caused me to get the uh, kidney transplant. So that is hard. Every time i like ready to prep and do the video, I can't do it. So that's it.